Welcome back to the Coder Shop YouTube channel. In today's video, we are going to talk about the Auto To Do module. It is an excellent tool for managing daily tasks and increasing productivity in your organization. This module offers a user friendly interface designed to help individuals and teams organize tasks, set priorities, and track progress efficiently. So, let me show you more about its features and why it is a great tool for task management in our Odo database. The Todo module integrates seamlessly with other Odo modules like Odo Project, Calendar, and CRM. We provide a holistic approach to managing tasks related to projects, meetings, and customer interactions. Here you can see the Todo dashboard organized into different stages, such as Inbox, Today's Tasks, Done, and Cancel Tasks. You can expand or fold it. To create your personal stage, just click on this button. All the stages are displayed in the Kanban view by default, but you can also switch to the list view. The list view displays tasks in the table format, making it easier to sort tasks. Or you can use the activity view. To create a task, click the Create button in the upper left corner. Enter a short title for your task, for example, Discuss vendor proposal. And click the Add button. You can also move it through the stages in the order in which you want the task to be completed. Now let's click on the Show Activities button. This would allow us to schedule the activity for the to do we created. So here you can choose from the drop down menu the type of activity you want. Below, we can also write a to do summary and some additional notes. Here you can specify the due date and assign who will be responsible for completing this task. Now let's open the calendar. Here you can connect and synchronize with your Google or Outlook calendars. To schedule an event, just decide on the day and hour and click on the corresponding rectangle. This will bring up a pop-up window where you can configure some details. Or you can click this button and have even more options to set up. Ok, let's go back. Since we set this to do as a call, we can see the corresponding icon over here. If you click on these three dots, you can also set the priority by color highlighting. Now let's dive into it. Here you can add related tags. Similarly, you can add multiple assignments nearby. When it's done, you can go to the Mark is Done option, which is shown as a check mark icon. Now let's see how to create a to do task. For that, you can go to the settings icon, where you have the archive, duplicate, delete, and convert to task options. And when you click on it, the pop up window will appear, where you have to add the project name, assignees, and related tags. Ok, let's create it. Here you can add the time allocated to the task, for example 5 hours, and set a deadline. If you want to add some notes about the task, use the description tab. In the timesheet tab you can list the people who worked on this task, and how much time they spent on it. You can download and print or share the timesheet here by clicking the timesheet button. Next, on the subtask tab, you can easily add the subtask. Just click on the add a line option, add the title, and specify the assignments. After saving, the subtask will be displayed here. By clicking on this circle, you can also change the status of this task. And the last thing I want to show you is the additional option over here. You can click on this star button to track how much time you have spent on this task. That's all for today. Thanks for watching and see you next time.